Welcome to the sneak peek for the all-new Simple Steps Overprint 2.0 from AdvancedT-Shirts.com. In this new version, we've added new features and functions as well as redesigned how the program works and also the user interface to make it easier and faster than ever before. Working with Overprint is a critical part of your screen printing business because as screen printers, we're very often working with a limited number of colors with which we can use to reproduce graphics and print graphics and also design graphics. Typically we're working with one, two, or three spot colors. And we want to be in a position where we're always optimizing the number of colors or the number of colors we can simulate or reproduce working with the limited number of colors that we're working with as screen printers. For example, this St. John's Elementary School design. Here we can see a number of different colors set up in the design. Now, if this teacher, this school is shopping this job out to different shops in their local market, they'd be looking for bids. Typically, your screen printers that aren't aware of overprinting or how to use it would look and say, well, this has to be four or five or six different colors. But you, as a user of overprint, could look at this design, do some evaluation, and realize that you could print it with just three colors. That's going to give you a huge advantage in the bidding process, and then that advantage really plays out into your entire art department and everything that's going out of your shop. If you're able to show clients designs that look like they have 10 or 12 or 15 colors with just two or three colors, where well, your competition is showing them designs that just have those two or three colors, I think you can imagine the benefits and also the advantage that you're going to have working with Overprint in CorelDRAW from AdvancedT-Shirts.com. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. Go ahead and I'll come up here to my advanced tools. And if you're in X7, you'll find this actually down here in your advanced tools docker, but I'm working X6. Come here to Simple Steps Overprint 2 and I'll go ahead and open that up. Go ahead here and I'll go ahead and select everything in my entire graphic. I'll just hit Control A to do that in CorelDRAW. I'll make sure I'm in my draw space here. Go to my color management tab and I'll click on Create Selection Palette. You can see I've got 29 colors and 29 tints. Now we're going to bring this down to just three colors, black, red, and yellow. And we're going to get all of these different colors working with that. Go ahead and click on Select All because I have to convert all of the colors to Pantone before I can do my conversions. Go ahead and click on One Click Conversion. Let that process. That'll bring all of that down to Pantone colors. Go to my Overprint Conversion tab here. And I'll click on Create Selection Palette here also. Now, this is a color management tab, and there's a lot of things that you can work with here throughout the process of working with overprinting. But this is where the magic of overprinting actually happens. With everything still selected, I'll click on Create Selection Palette. Now, what happened here is you can see we've already gone down in colors because all the colors were organized here. All the blacks were converted to just a Pantone black. I'm going to select a yellow, a red, and a black. That's just three colors. I'm going to come down here and click on Create Overprint Palette. Go ahead and click on that. And if we go ahead and move this, if we can, you'll see over here Corel is now getting very busy creating an overprinting palette. And you'll see this flashing here. That's nothing to worry about. And here you'll see the actual overprint palette. Now, normally this would be over here to the right, but I've set this over here inside of the screen so we can see it during the processing of the sneak peek video. But you can see that Corel is going through those three colors working with overprint and what's happening here is we're seeing the generation of all the different colors and tints and shades and tones of color that we can get from just red yellow and black now this palette typically take about two to three minutes of process so i'll go ahead and pause here and then we'll continue after the palette has finished processing once the palette is finished processing you can see here are all the different colors and tints and shades and tones of color that you can get from just those colors. Now these are broken out based on incremental values of what you'd be able to hold as a screen printer. We set our increments from 5 and we've gone from 15 to 85. So all of these colors would be holdable as half-tone prints. There'd be nothing down in the 10 or 5 percent range and nothing up in above the 85 percent range of color which is very important because you really don't want to have overprinting colors that you can't hold as a screen printer on your screen or on press. Now once I've set up this palette, I could actually start to design with it. So let's say I was creating design for a local high school and I was using the colors 
black, red, and yellow, well, I could design with this palette as opposed to just working with those colors. I can also use it to convert designs. Go ahead and move this palette back over here to the right in my palettes here. And then we'll simply take this design that we've got here and go back to the convert overprint conversion tab here. And then we're going to come here and click on convert to overprint colors. And that's going to go through and convert my entire design to overprint colors. So I'll go ahead and click on that and we'll let that process. Now that took just a second to process, but now all of these colors have been converted to the colors from the overprinting palette. Here I can make a review of the design and make sure that I'm happy with the color conversion. If I want to change something or change a color or replace a color, I can do all that here. Or I could actually do it here with this palette. Let's say I wanted to change the color in the girl's t-shirt here. I could change that here just by simply clicking and filling that with a color from the overprint palette. Now it needs to be a color from the overprint palette or the overprint conversion is not going to work correctly. I'll hit Control Z just to change that back and I'll move this back over here. You don't want to close this palette while you're working with overprint because it needs this palette to do its conversion. Now with that all set, then what I'll do is go ahead and select everything here and I'll click on Convert to Overprint Design. And once I print that, what will happen is, is that the application will go through and convert the entire design to an overprint design. And that'll take just a minute to process. And then from that point, all I need to do is generate my color separations, print my films, burn my screens, and get the design out on press. And this process will usually take a few minutes because Simple Steps Overprint is going through all the different objects actually doing the color changes and conversions and then converting those to overprinted objects in Corel Draw. For example, now if we zoom in here, we can see we've got an object here that has 25% Pantone hexachrome black and that's on top of red and this is on top of a white. So that's just a red and a black creating that lighter maroon color and then down here we've got the darker version. You can actually see there's some yellow in there. So now we've got vector objects blended on top of each other as overprinted objects, and we're down to three colors. If we come back here to color management, excluding the white, click on create selection palette. So you've got four colors and 23 tints. If we exclude the white, we're down to three colors. And we started out with colors that were up in the 20s, so we were able to bring that color count down to the limit of colors that we were working with as a screen printer. Once all of this is done, if I wanted to color separate that, I could do that very easily by going to my Simple Steps 4. I wouldn't need to do any color management here. I could just go to Separations, come down here to Half Tones. I'm not going to need a white highlight because we're printing on white. I'll come down here. Now, for my red and my yellow, I'll definitely want to interlock those because they're blending. I'll set this to All Black Output. Because I'm going to have black printing in here, I'm going to set my black at a different angle just to offset that using a rosette style. So I'm really using a hybrid half toning here of working with interlocking, which is at a flamenco style, into a rosette style just for my black. So I'll change that to 67 for my angle there, and then I just simply click on Generate Separations. Once Simple Steps is finished generating my half tone color separations, I can review those in Corel Draw. Now we know that our half tone objects don't look very good in Corel Draw. That's because they've been converted to one bit color images or bitmaps with the colors applied. But this half tone preview is critical so we can get a decent preview of what we're going to see on press and also give us the ability to analyze our half tones. Something we don't find in any of the other ripping applications in the industry. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and take this and I'll go ahead and copy this. Go back to the overprint design here and we'll paste this in. And I'll just take this and I'll go bitmap, convert to bitmap just so we can see a preview here. And I'll do that at 300 dpi, I'll select OK. Then to create a better illusion of what you're going to see with the human eye, I'll just give that a Gaussian blur of one pixel. And you'll see here that if I put these side by side, even though we've got three different colors here, or just three colors, you can see that our conversion was very accurate. And the colors will be identical to those that we would have had in our graphics application or in Corel Draw. So this will be our sneak peek for Simple Steps Overprint 2.0. This will be released in a few days, but I think you can see how very easily here, literally in a matter of minutes, you can go through graphics, 
reduce the number of colors and be able to really optimize the limited number of colors that we're working with in our graphics application, those being spot colors, and what we can print on press and getting the best color quality out to our customers while at the same time having the advantage of being really able to work with the color and work with the color in a way that we can outbid our competitors that don't understand overprinting. And really, Simple Steps Overprint is a product you're only going to find from advancedtshirts.com. It doesn't exist anywhere else in the industry. So you've got a really big advantage when you're working against competitors that are working with pro products like Adobe, etc. Because you've got all of this optimized and are able to work with it accurately because of the Simple Steps Overprint plugin. So as I said, we'll go ahead and wrap here relating to this sneak peek and we'll see you in our next video.